Greetings in the precious name of Jesus to all the viewers of Liturgy TV. This Sunday is the 15th ordinary Sunday of the year. A woman was childless. She has decided to adopt a boy and um, she loved the boy very much. The boy was growing very well, well looked after. The woman was so fond of this boy, at the age of three, th three and a half, she wanted to put him in LKG. The boy declined. Again, at the age of four, five, six, the boy said, No, I don't want to study. Finally, at the age of ten, the boy had no schooling at all and she wanted to put him in LKG. She loved the boy so much, she could not compel him to go to school although the boy was adopted boy, adopted child. Today's second reading speaks about adoption, divine adoption. Saint Paul in his letter to the Ephesians has developed the concept of divine adoption its basic characteristic is the relationship of the Christian to God. Israel enjoyed a filial relationship to God through covenant election. God is showering on you abundant blessings because you are adapted child of God. This is further substantiated in letter of St. Paul to the Roman chapter 8 verse 14 and 15. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you received a spirit of adoption through which we cry, Abba, Father. God has chosen you before the foundation of the world to be adopted children of God. God has made you holy and blameless to be worthy of this divine adoption. God has redeemed you and forgiven all your sins as you are a child of God. God has shared with you, adopted children, this knowledge of His secret plan of salvation. You are already predestined for a huge spiritual and divine inheritance. Finally, you are also marked with the seal of the Holy Spirit so that you may forever be God's people. Besides this, God is always conferring on you abundant blessings in many and various ways. Only, only God can turn a mess into a message, a test into a testimony, a trial into a triumph, a victim into a victory, these are the blessings of God for his children. In the first reading, we hear 
about prophet call of prophet of amos vocation of amos after the death of solomon his kingdom was divided into northern and southern kingdom Ten tribes were part of northern kingdom of Israel having Samaria as its capital and Bethel as the temple of the Lord Two tribes of Judah and Benjamin became southern kingdom of Judah and Jerusalem was its capital and the temple at Jerusalem was the temple of worship in the first reading prophet amos who is from southern kingdom was sent by god to the priest of bethel to speak against the current neglect and exploitation of the poor by the powerful at the northern kingdom Amos confronts Amaz- Amaziah the priest of Bethel of northern kingdom Amaziah was furious and tells Amos to get out and go to south of Judah to earn his bread you have to learn to not to let lit, little disappointments get you down but to stay focus on the big picture amos was not discouraged he knows god's plan for him and for his people he was rejected but he was not disappointed Amos was not a professional prophet he was a shepherd and dresser of sycamores he had become prophet by choice he was chosen by god and sent by god to bethel although we are not professionals thoroughly skilled not talented we may not be very very dynamic yet god has chosen us before the foundation of the world and blessed us with all the spiritual blessings gospel reading the gospel reading presents training the disciples for the missionary work by jesus and to gather and collect more chosen people adapted children for god the instruction of jesus christ has a very few points that is there is no need of travel kits as it is the mission of christ 2 by 2 signifies authority of official witness no provisions are required as the apostles have to trust in god providential care jesus wanted his disciples to be rich in all things which really mattered so that the most people may become adopted children of god and enjoy the privileges and blessings of the elect and the predestined you are all messengers of love kindness goodness sympathy and empathy so that you may pray and gather more and more children of god together jesus died to offer you daily opportunities to shine to polish your gifts to release your chains to achieve personal mastery as children of god so that you may be 
successful, efficient and significant people, significant children of God in the world. May God bless you all. Let us say the small prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who became man through the Blessed Virgin Mary, by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for his humanity, because he has come to make us children of God. He has called us and chosen us before the foundation of the world. He has blessed us abundantly. He has made us blameless and holy people. He has predestined us for heavenly inheritance. We thank you for all the graces and blessings you have bestowed upon your elect and predestined people. As we contemplate, meditate upon the word of God today, we ask your blessings upon all the people who are watching this TV, all those who are listening to this sermon. Pour out your graces upon them. Pour out your blessings upon them. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them. Anoint them. We also pray for all the people who are in need of your grace of pardon and forgiveness. Your people are fragile, prone to fall and fail. We surrender to you, Lord, all the imperfections, shortcomings and failures of your people, your chosen ones. Pardon them, forgive them, purify them. May the precious blood of Jesus Christ cleanse their hearts, bodies and minds and purify them and sanctify them. We also surrender all those who are suffering from various disease, ailment and sickness. Grant them healing touch. We pray for your people, chosen people, so that they may not be affected by the third way. Protect them from third way. Drive away Corona from the lives of the people. This pandemic Drive away this pandemic. The, we also pray for this TV, Liturgy TV, Vijay, and uh, the marvelous, extraordinary, outstanding work he is doing in proclaiming the message of Christ. Bless him. Bless his family, dear ones. Bless all his efforts and grant success to his hands. These and all other grace and blessings we ask in your precious name, who is the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Amen.